someone spilled the coffee. Oh, and there's the conductor when he was a little boy. Or at least a young Wu lad. Oh, look at this! This is a picture I took of you on your first day on the job! Oh, look at you, so young and happy! Where did it all go? Should I really sort out my evidence before I continue? In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor's car yet. Feels... empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd! I haven't seen him throughout the train at all! Last we saw him was when he left the dining car! Something's clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out! Come on, it's time to investigate! Let's crack on! Crack! Hmm! Crack! Oh, there's one more trash can! You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with the finding a clue here before, huh? I know, with it, I know they say, always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. No, no, they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Let's give it a look. You gave in so easily. Would it be okay if there's nothing in there? I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, no. You look so sad about it. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see. Is it a clue? Hmm. Maybe just leave boy alone for a second. Hmm. Eh? <laughs> B boy with his trash can fetish. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here for a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. A microphone? We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Start be start beatboxing. If you can hear, you hear this, your armpits stink. <laughs> Oi, why are you reaching for the mic? Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, boy. Thank you for sharing! I wonder what now, let's see the other option. If you can hear this, your armpits stink. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. <laughs> Amy is once again not amused. Your armpits certainly do not! They're clean! Uh, I'm uh, sure they are, Tails. Was just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. Did you just do cringe? That was fucking cringe, bro! Get the fuck out of here! Event! Hmm. It's a large one. Seems like the one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how'd you get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Hmm. Uh. Huh? Oh, uh, the tails, right? Boy, uh. Why have to play this fucking loser idiot? Why can't I be a cool character? Why I gotta be a, a bitch boy? Someone spilled the coffee. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait. What does it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. 
Huh? Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on the passenger before letting them on board. Let's make a note of this. What else can we click on that's not a person? I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Uh, no. Just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I can drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys! This robot arm's been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. This arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Okay, so we, we're not going to talk to Amy then. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I guess that's the same. But the train's quick speed up is odd. And we currently don't know where he is. I hope he's alright. Immediately, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> Did he have any other any no okay no he didn't have any other extra options. It was just it was just the talkie and that's it. Alright, Amy time. Well you two, you think you have enough evidence to for me to call everyone here? It's high enough time we name the suspect. What do you think, boy? Ready to solve this case? I, I guess. I know it's been an hour, but we're almost done with the game, I assume. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Everyone's here. Except Cream. <laughs> no, I won't let it go. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I were ready to announce our prime suspect. With the assistance from Boy, why hasn't Sonic showed up? Huh? Factor? Real quick, can you come with me to get so Oh, that, I don't know why I assumed that was Vector talking. Real quick, could you come with me to get Sonic? He must be still pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you darlings that this has been a delight. A delight. The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing more like a thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel cater so cater to. Immediately, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of the chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I'm but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here on the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm glad that everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train instead of just relax sometime. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun, too. Ah. Uh, huh? Ugh. Hmm. What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Huh? Yep, that's right, guys. Sonic's still dead. Oh, God, for a second, I was like, what's wrong with Sonic's arms? Why is it a weird shade of blue? But he's wearing a uh, conductor's coat. 
he 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 stopped responding to us. Sonic, Sonic, what is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Let him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. <laughs> Damn it! The two de the te the two serious characters are in the same room and talking one after the other. It's hard for me to make them sound different. <laughs> I knew one of you could take this too far. Huh? Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Uh... Hmm... This is inexcusable! Sonic's hurt! I'm gonna expose the monster who did this! Tails is not having it. And I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too! Same. We're gonna figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible! S Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time. I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. He's not dead, so he hasn't been murdered. Tails, boy, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh... I, I don't... Uh, I mean... Going by all the information we got... Like... Like, so... Everyone saw Rouge running around. Vector was playing... Like, these three fuckos were playing video games and whatever. Blaze... Has an alibi with the voucher. The only person who doesn't... And then, like, Amy and Tails and me were all... And boy... We're all together. And when we got... But then again, Amy was the one awake while me and Tails were passed out. She could have made that shit up. Knocked... Well, drugged Sonic or whatever. Because I'm going to be I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's any of these fuckos. Because we haven't seen the conductor. And we also been seeing that Eggman shit everywhere. So I'm gonna assume Eggman's gonna show up, but uh, but the only other op because like Shadow was going around locking shit with keys and whatever. Everyone has an assault alibi, and Tails has been with me the whole time. So let's click Amy for funnies. That can't be right. Neither Tails and I could be the murderer. Ah, uh, that's right. Let me pick again. Who in this room did? Uh. uh, 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 uh Knuckles killed him. Hmm, I can't, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh, well, um... When I put it in a spot like this, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. Why'd you pick Knuckles, boy? It's because he's an echidna. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> I mean, uh... Oh. Um, <laughs> well, well, let's see how the plot explains, because I don't know how Espio was the one mur to murder Sonic. Because... No one saw him. He said he went to go read. He did have the book and stuff, but no one actually saw Espio reading. Except when Vector came back in the car. And he saw him reading the book, but he had to go walk towards him over there to see him do whatever. But throughout that whole time, um, he could have just left and go and murdered Sonic. And no one would know because Espio can turn invisible. Espio, you're the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Hmm? 
Huh? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle you of wits you wish, and I would love to dis dis I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss What the You're accusing Esview? We already talked about this. The man was reading! You have nothing! Restating that Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. And there's the secret passageway for Espio to get to the conductor's car and murder Sonic. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Boy, could you fill everyone in? What can we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio... Oh. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage ex exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Unless the fucking secret passage away is literally fucking magic. Because, you know, like special zones and whatever. Because that doesn't make any sense in the cards. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence that I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without a flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. You didn't miss a question. I think Boy and I can explain that too! Boy, I didn't Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading. He's a poet, so he's a quick learner. A ninja like him speed reads. Espio's a ninja! He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined! What are you getting at? <laughs> you picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it! Just to guarantee yourself a queen alibi. What? Th that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio for a long time. You know, that Knuckles Chaotix and shit. He wants me to read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Fucking asshole. Ruin Harry Potter for me, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm right, Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage. Then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the Hidden Passage? It's hidden. That's right! How would Espio even know it was he there? You said yourself, kid! You were lucky to even find that passage! Why do I not have the evidence to answer that qu your question? But we know someone who does, boy! Who has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the Hidden Passage? Uh... I mean, Shadow didn't even know. I, I don't remember if Amy knew or not. It had to be one of these two. Oh, no, no, Rouge, because she has the blueprints. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Bloop? Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is the blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, boy, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did? Rouge, where did you find those blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed in the brochures. I checked the saloon car first and then found the blueprints after leaving. So 
So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage! In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With an Amy's guidelines, the murder can kill a single participant, however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Boy and I have the evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm sure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Boy and I have evidence then on how it was done. Huh? Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I'd murdered Sonic, how would I do it? With the dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're so close, boy. What would Sonic do? Run away from his problems. Look at me, I'm running away, guys. I'm running away from my problems. Wee! Did anyone see that, um, that art and, uh, <laughs> the new art uh, Yuji Okawa did of uh, Silver and Elise? So Elise actually looks like a fucking Sonic character and not like a realistic person. You bastard. Also, there's ring boxes there. I guess they're not boxes, because the modern games are capsules. Yep, that's right. Run into the spikes like a smart person. I, I did it again. I did. I did it again. <laughs> I fucking did it again. Cause I don't remember when the the fucking um, the thing breaks. So when I see two springs on the side like that, that's when I gotta actually just hit the fucking springs. Yeah, I'm I'm almost at. I did it again. How many times am I gonna keep falling for this stupid thing? Cause I'm looking, cause I'm that time that happened, cause I was looking at my fucking ring count. <laughs> I missed a lot of rings there. Yeah, I'm not falling for that this time. Alright. <laughs> Jesus Christ. His blue door was found here! In the conductor's room! Huh? I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious! Uh, so you mean Sonic might be knocked out? I'm not sure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder history. My theory, therefore, it's plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present your first fatal flaw. If I knock Sonic out in the conductor's car, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, oh, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have the key. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have the key. He would have to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Boy, and I know the other way it could have been done. W we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? The vents? Wait, there's no evidence for the vents. Uh, the, the hand? Uh... I don't think you can use the same evidence twice, so... The only other new evidence we have is the robot arm. Until we... I, until they're like, no, no, you can use the same evidence over and over. I don't think it's the right direction. Whatever. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, now, what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, boy, think! Yep, that's right, being terrible at video games! Oh, 
<laughs> I really should pay attention to the fucking ground, because you can see where the crumpled ground is at. Also, I'm going for the ring capsule this time. Yeah, that's right, Nick. Ignore the... <laughs> Can, can, yeah, can't get myself. Yeah, let me try this again. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Well, so much for that ring capsule. to get to the darting car, then what route did he, did he take to get Sonic there? The vents. There's a small path above the conductor's car. It goes all the way to the dining car. Oh? Huh? huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of log attic? Long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path on the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. No, the vent over there? Huh? The vent, of course, that must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word! There's a path back in here, and a track. A track? Huh. A track, le a track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path for the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow fit Sonic through the vent and took him to the dining car. Huh? Tails, you're a smart kid. So I, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up in there. That feels right. This is feeling a flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name is getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? With, with the robot arm. Phew! Now I gotta think about my argument. Come on, you can do this, boy. You can do this. Yeah, because uh, we're heading to an hour and a half, and I don't know that the Elgato will start, will start freaking the fuck out because uh, we don't have the greatest computer known to man. Oh, ow. Okay, it, it didn't hit the fucking ring capsule, I guess. I'm also missing all the rings. Let me die, please. Stop being greedy with rings. Yep, run into the spikes. Yep, run into that too. Not enough rings. Cause I keep missing them all. Like this is actually that like that one is a straight up actual special stage tier of uh actual uh obstacles and shit. Yeah, you gotta jump way earlier. I wonder why that one time I just didn't get it. Seriously. I missed all those fucking rings. Wouldn't it be funny if this fucking visual was like, easy mode has now been selectable? Or, I've seen you've been having a hard time trying to get through this. You know you can lower the difficulty on this, right? And then you get really, really mad. Let me die. Just let me die. <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah, I, I already, I like, I, I keep forgetting you gotta go to the right side. Please, please kill me. Yeah, thank you. You know, there's a reason why I haven't finished Sonic Advance 3, it's because of this fucking bullshit. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Just enough. 